people think that whenever they fap on no fap that they've lost the battle when in reality all they did was just choose what they want to do so if you have been relapsing relapsing does not exist because relapsing means that something external has taken you over and is controlling exactly what you do it's controlling your actions it's controlling your whatever the hell right but in reality we have free will and we can choose to do what we want with our own thoughts choices and preference and i'm not asking you to dogmatically believe me i'm asking you to just watch this video and think arrive at your own conclusion if what i'm saying makes sense what i'm saying it's from the freedom model in the description shit's fucking fire all right so a relapse is defined as something that you've been taken over by yeah all right and it does not exist because you choose to watch porn every single time and nothing makes you more susceptible to watching this porn other than your own personal preference so <clears throat> i use this face moisturizer for reasons i use it because number one it's natural um it's yeah made with whole organic ingredients it lasts really long so like i'm gonna buy myself another one of these and it moisturizes my face and it's good for chapped lips i use this because it's got a lot of benefits and i like it if i found out one day that this was giving me skin cancer would it be hard for me to like like if i kept using it it would give me skin cancer would it be hard pause would it be hard for me to just stop using this for me to be like oh i'd be happier without skin cancer and you know there's other moisturizers out there that are natural i can just find one of those and use one of those in fact i would rather use a unnatural moisturizer than use this and get skin cancer no i wouldn't feel like i wouldn't be using that and then like quit and then be like oh man you know i'm itching for like my everything bomb i'm itching for my face moisturizer no that wouldn't happen because i'm choosing what i want every single time if i buy a t-shirt i choose to pay 20 dollars for that t-shirt because i want the t-shirt <clears throat> and just the same with porn when you um when you watch porn you choose to pay whatever it is the time the energy the mental space the sleep the productivity you choose to pay all those things for the perceived benefits in porn and those benefits can be like faulty and um you know really like like not fault yeah faulty faulty meaning like it's not even real so like when you use porn you use it because you want to use it so every time you use it, you're actually winning because what you want is the porn. Relapses don't exist. There's no point in your life where you just lose control and something has taken you over unless you like literally get possessed by a literal demon, which is not happening because I know there's religious people that are on NoFap and they'll be like, God, you know, these demons, these demons are getting to me, man. Like they keep taking me over and it's like, you're... You're just placeboing yourself into not like having your own free will. Now triggers, do, is, do triggers exist? Because we're talking about relapses and we're like, oh man, you know, I got to avoid my triggers. Do triggers, as it, ex do triggers exist? No, triggers do not exist. They are imaginary reasons inside your brain that may have been put into your head because obviously, you know, like, you would have quit porn by now if you didn't discover NoFap, okay? NoFap, um, not per they didn't purposefully do this, but like they accidentally brainwashed you. They brainwashed me too because I was stuck with this shit for like five years, all right? Stuck watching porn for five years, trying to figure out how the fuck do I quit. And I didn't quit until like, no, I don't even remember. But like I used the freedom model to quit. So if you never discovered NoFap, what would have happened is you would have just stopped using porn and fapping you would have stopped doing those things naturally because you don't you wouldn't have believed like there's anything triggering you to use it you would just you just use it because it's convenient and you view things as causes for using it so 
let's say you see a hot girl outside. Is that objective? Like objectively means like it's a fact, all right? A literal fact. If you see a cute girl, hot girl outside, let's say you talk to her, is it objective truth that that is a literal trigger? Like, like you, you know, a trigger is like you pull, you do something to a gun, all right? You pull the trigger on the gun. That's a literal trigger and it's guaranteed to shoot. The gun will shoot if you pull the trigger. That's objective. Is it objectively a trigger that when you see a hot girl, it's objectively like triggers you to fucking like go home and fap? That is not objective. It's just in your brain. Is it a objective trigger that, um, let's say you're home alone, okay? You're home alone. I'm actually about to make a whole video about this, but you're home alone. You're not busy. You don't really have anything to do. You're kind of bored. Is that right there an objective trigger? Remember, objective. I know I, I keep trying to fucking hammer this in, all right? Objective is like you have a gun and you shoot the gun. It's going to shoot. It's going to. No matter what you do, you pull this trigger. It's going to shoot. If you're home alone and bored, is that objectively, factually a trigger for you to watch porn? No, it's not. Because you want to know why? There's other people who are home alone, bored, and they don't watch porn. They don't run to anything. In fact, sometimes I'll be home alone and bored. I'll just like walk around the house and I'll think. Not as like some philosopher or self-improvement there, but like I'll literally just like just start thinking and walk around the house. A lot of the things that you think are triggers with NoFap or with your relapses are all imaginary and you basically make up those reasons. So literally nothing, I'm telling you right here, right now, I'm not asking, you don't have to dogmatically believe me, but like you can, you can if you want to, because then I guess you'll just arrive at the state faster. But if you're, if what I'm saying, like really like is starting to make sense here and you're like, fuck, this guy actually might be right. I'm choosing to do these things and I'm actually making the triggers like, fuck, okay. I have free will here. If you're like, if that's like popping into your mind, then just believe me, man. Like, fuck. Oh my God. Like read the freedom model. Nothing triggers you to relapse. All right. I'm telling you from my own state, nothing triggers you to relapse. Not even the literal porn, not the Instagram models, not the fucking TikTok uh, dancers, those girls that are like doing random shit. None of them trigger you. All right. Because just like run it again, like, okay, you see a hot model on uh, Instagram. This is a big one. Delete Instagram. So then like, I don't use Instagram, but like, I'm just saying, delete all these apps. So then you don't never see um, a booty again. Okay, now let's use um YouTube. There's a hot gym girl. Um, yeah, and she's like, she just pops up on your thing. Objectively, objectively, like the gun with the trigger, objectively, does that mean that's a trigger? shoot you go relapse relapse no it's not it's it's just it's literally like all in your mind and you've been like you just have all these beliefs that are so fucked because of no fap and all this shit like you would have quit by now if you never discovered no fap maybe you wouldn't have maybe you would have but like you would have not been using as heavily as you use right now if you never discovered no fap this is a side topic but like once you discover nofap everything just like gets worse for some reason i don't know why like you discover oh addiction exists addiction doesn't exist but then like you start to believe you're fucking like fucked and then like there's something controlling you and it's all so 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 stupid because like what the hell it's actually crazy so yeah i could i'll give you one more example. So I had this like written down on my notes. Um, it's like you, I wake up, okay, I wake up every day and I brush my teeth. Me waking up, all right, is that an objective trigger to brush my teeth? Like objective means like it will work for anyone, right? Or is that subjective? Belief. When I wake up, if I didn't brush my teeth, I would feel weird, all right? But it's not an objective uh, trigger. It's subjective. There's people who wake up and they don't brush their teeth. In fact, they like 
play video games. I used to be like this. I used to wake up and I would play video games before I even brush my teeth. Subjective, not objective. All right. Click on this video, um, join the Discord, and hopefully you enjoyed, found this useful. Spread the shit, comment, like, whatever the hell. Fuck, I'm just playing. All right, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Mwah.